Hello, this is Wes with Baron Heating and BaronGreenTeam.com. Uh, today talking about the uh, FBQ Skyair 3-ton system with the DZK uh, Air Zone, I want to say it's called, DZK Zoning System that Daikin is partnered with uh, to really give a ton of flexibility to uh, this system. This, I know, <laughs> this is the last one. <laughs> mind blown a lot but this is the system I put in my house and um, I love it and uh, it just gives you so as you'll see this is so much flexibility this is a four zone system um, the FBQ which is there is this giant horizontal device uh, make sure you google it and uh, on the front of that is if you look up DZK zoning panel for Daikin you'll see that there is a six zone panel that's on the front. So you have a maximum of six zones per unit, but what I'm able to do is combine the outlets. So I have one zone has three outlets and then there's the other ones as part of the system. So in this house we have, so instead of, if you think about it, instead of having a four head ductless system, I can have four ducted zones that are all coming off of that same uh, level of tech. And uh, now what I get, which is really cool, is I have my uh, four inch filter here but I can bring in my um, fresh air because now normally if you have a FBQ with a nav control the standard Daikin control you don't get continuous fan but with the air zone you are able to run continuous fan through the system zone dependent so I can run continuous fan in the whole house I can do it in just my master uh, the other day my son had a cold, so he had a sore throat. I turned off continuous fan in his room because I didn't want him to dry him out or anything like that. So super cool. But I'm able to run, since it's continuous fan, I've got my power damper with my ASHRAE module and all that stuff on there, and that allows me to, uh, to incorporate a fresh air of some kind with the ASHRAE back into the system. I'll try to get here. We use bootless, uh, bootless registers. Um, on the system, but basically coming off and trying to keep things um, as unpinchy as possible and uh, making our way over to all our, our ceiling registers, which I'll show you. But let me try to get down the ladder and I will um, make my way out to the outdoor unit as it is on and do that. This is not going to be good video for a couple seconds, just so you know. <laughs> all right. Um, as you see, this attic is 412, but it doesn't have all the uh, trusses, scissor trusses in it, so we were able to set that up nicely. We had a home run of duct work off the side, gave, kept the attic access and everything, so it's real good. Now I've got all the zones on inside. That's another thing you can, you can do, individual zone control. But I can also go in and say, hey, uh, from any thermostat, I can go in and say, I want all the zones to be at 72. And so they all blink to 72. And then that person can be in there and go, I'm too hot, turn it down. Um, but also, if let's say I'm in my master bedroom. Now I don't do this because I can just go out to the main zone which is easier to use. But from my wireless stat in that zone, I can go and say, oh, I forgot to turn down my son's heat. So I go down there and I drop it. Um, or I go in just into my own thermostat, I can drop it. So here is three ton sky air. Now, whether you have the FBQ, the FTQ, whatever, they're all the same unit. They're just attached to it a little differently. Let me head out, go back here. So you see how we ran the speedy. Now this install is really good. I am very happy with it. There's only one issue uh, that the customer brought up and I'm gonna show you it in a sec. And I'm dealing with it at my house too. And uh, any of you YouTuber HVAC guys who have the solution beyond what I'm about to say, you've been great about chiming in and telling me uh, what's worked for you, so please do that. But here's where we ran our speedy channel, got up into that gable. We didn't want it over here. Um, this was a bathroom, so there is a little bit of noise behind these units. Um, so you gotta make sure, even though most ductless are real quiet, when you get those both condenser fans running, you get this like, I don't know, it's like, there's an airplane on a runway strip somewhere idling sound. 
I don't know. Um, so you do want to be careful about these big, big daddies that way. Um, but let me show you, you get a good idea of the noise here. Okay, so super quiet from a peripheral standpoint. But let me see if I can get what we're talking about back here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. I don't know if you can hear that, that rumble, rumble, rumble that, just that rumble sound. But what we're getting is we're using earthquake straps and we've got some isolators, not the thickest uh, isolators. I could put in thicker isolators, but I did that at my house and it didn't solve it. So um, what I'm thinking of doing, and we got, a, we got a bathroom mirror on the back that's catching some resonation. So what I'm thinking about doing, the homeowner thinks he's gonna take care of it himself because he figured he'd send me a receipt for the materials, but we're gonna do to each of ours and see <laughs> what it works, is I'm gonna put in uh, ground screws like you do on a dog run or to tie a trampoline to the ground. And then I'm just gonna run a strap over the unit. It's a little dirty, you know, and I wouldn't do it on a fresh install. So that's why I'm hoping some of you give me an idea of what I can do to, to uh, get those stuck to the ground without strapping it to the house. Um, that's just the way the install's been doing it. I'd love to give them uh, some new perspective. So, so that's the indoor, outdoor unit. Let me take you inside and I'll show you the controls. So, the one thing to remember is if you're a consumer and you're looking at multi-head ductless and you're like, I don't want that thing on my wall or whatever, uh, this is another option that's fully ducted, but you still get all the micro zoning and the efficiency of a fully ducted system. Or I mean of a ductless system, sorry. Oh, let me I'll pull around here and show you. So in this case, um, egg crate return grill and here's the main stat Let's see if we can see it here there we go uh, gotta focus in so what's awesome is like from here I can go into there and I can pick you know all zones be this zone one you know whichever one I want to control I gotta try to make it focus for you guys sorry uh, you have different kinds of economy. You can run real heavy economy, light economy, or off. Um, and that's just where it uses its logic to try to be as efficient as possible. The other thing is you can weight zones, which is awesome. So, for instance, this zone is a majority of the load, X. And then we have another bedroom that's really cold that's going to be heavier weight. So the system can start to use its logic. Um, the other thing is you can use adaptive airflow. So you can say, hey, if all the zones are calling, I want it to be at this X airflow, but if it's not all the zones calling and it's only three, I want it to be at something else. And so that's called the Q adapt feature. And that's where you can run like power mode, standard, silence, absolute minimum airflow in all the zones. So there's a lot of flexibility with the main stat. And then as we come in here, this is the wireless control and so this is where we have our local ventilation that's going to be turned on and off at will. I can go in to here and I can pick which zone I want to control and control it. Um, so right now it's letting me control zone one. And I can change that or I can just go back to what I'm doing at zone four. Um, let's see. And then, you know, here's what the, uh, I'll take you to one of these uh, bootless grills. They're real clean and nice and I really like them. And that's that one there. So that's a four-way. They have two-way, they're harder to get the two-ways. They're like big wait time. So we use we use the four-ways. We can change those out if we need better, you know, airflow in the in the space. This room was very cold. You would not believe how cold this room was when I first got here. It was like, has someone been running an air conditioner in this room? And uh that was with the heating system on. And right now we are at 70 degrees in this room, which is unthinkable so pretty awesome um, let's see I think that's it so this has been the uh, Skyair FBQ with the DZK zoning system with uh, main stat and wireless uh, stats and um, if you have any questions let me know but a lot of times I learn things from you guys so let me know if there's anything um, you want to add in the comment section and thanks a lot